about a tool uh, which is called Wireshark. Uh, so uh, the first thing I want you to understand is that Wireshark is not a hacking tool. So uh, the question comes in mind that then why are we actually discussing Wireshark uh, and what is actually Wireshark is. So Wireshark is a famous uh, packet sniffer uh, and it is a uh, it is a packet uh, analyzer where we can actually capture the packets and then we can analyze the packets. So uh, Wireshark was actually designed for uh, for network administrators so they can uh, actually uh, sniff the traffic, sniff the packets and see uh, what the employees are doing. So for example there is uh, there is an organization uh, and there is a uh, there is a network administrator who controls the server and all the devices uh, on the network are connected to uh, to that server and uh, and that server is responsible for providing the internet to, to the whole organization. Uh, so what will be happening is that all the network traffic will be flowing from the server. So you can place uh, Wireshark on the server and then the network administrator uh, can see that what employees are doing and uh, what things they are opening and, and all that stuff. So it's, uh, it's kind of uh, like being man in the middle when we are network administrator to see uh, the traffic of the whole uh, whole network. So Wireshark uh, is uh, is a tool which can actually uh, capture traffic on on a on a single interface, uh, and it depends on uh, that what interface we give it to, we assign it to, and then it will uh, start sniffing the traffic from it, and it will start sniffing all the packets, and then we can analyze those packets and see that what data is actually being sent uh, through those packets. Uh, so uh, as I told you that all the information uh, being sent on the networks and in the internet in, is in the form of the packets and Wireshark is a packet sniffer and it captures those packets and then we can see that what they actually have. Uh, so uh, I, am, I am going to come on to the point that why we use Wireshark but first of all I want to show you uh, the interface of the Wireshark so we go to Kali and to start Wireshark we can uh, do we can write Wireshark here or you can go to the all applications menu here and you can type Wireshark and then start Wireshark from there. So I'm going to type Wireshark and I can uh, press enter and it will open for me. So here is the Wireshark and this is the main screen of Wireshark. We can actually maximize it just ignore the error. So, so here are all the uh, interfaces which are available in Wireshark which we can actually use to capture the traffic. You can see that there is an Ethernet zero, uh, there is any like it is going to uh, capture the traffic from any interface, then the loopback, then it is a local uh, local interface and USB mon and USB mon 2 and all these, uh, all these interfaces we can capture uh, the packets on. Uh, so I am now connected uh, to, uh, to the internet using this Ethernet 0, ETH 0 interface. So if I go to terminator here and I split the screen and if, if config here and you can see that I have an IP of 10 to 13 and I am connected to the internet using Ethernet 0. And right now you can see that there is just a simple line and uh, there is no because I am not using internet and ethernet 0 uh, is saying that there is not, nothing uh, going on or no, no captures or no packets are actually flowing into the network. So if I go to uh, Firefox here and I uh, try to open Google or any website uh, and try to browse the internet so this, uh, this uh, line is going to actually show us some movement. So it is uh, very similar to just like a heartbeat and if the heart is beating so uh, we can see the spikes and if we do not see it so it means that there are there is no uh, movement or there is no internet so I have Firefox here and I can for example type google.com and let's go to Wireshark and you can see that here are the spikes. So 
uh, there is some movement on the network and we use the internet and you can see that it is telling us that yes yeah, there is some internet traffic or some packets which are flowing through the ethernet zero so uh, uh, right now i am not running any attack i am not doing anything uh, i am uh, not trying to be man in the middle or i or i am not i have not made a fake access point for anyone to actually uh, connect with it i am just uh, reading the information or the data which is flowing through my network so I am not actually capturing the, the packets here using Wireshark here I am just what I am doing is I am just checking that there is an interface Ethernet 0 and there is some uh, there is some data which is flowing through this uh, this interface uh, so and another thing I want to show you is like if I this is my other machine this is a Windows 10 machine we have been using uh, for all the attacks and if I if I come here on the Windows 10 machine and let me I am trying IP config here and you can see that this is my IP address so I am on the same network as the Kali machine I have the same net network uh, but still if I Google here So I search for Google here, I browse the internet here on this machine, on this Windows 10 machine but when we come here we can see that Ethernet 0 has captured nothing. The reason for that is because I told you uh, that it only captures the traffic which is flowing into uh, from our network or from the interface we ran it and now Windows 10 uh, we are not running a man in the middle attack so uh, Ethernet 0 cannot see the traffic or uh, capture the packets which are flowing into this Windows 10 machine. So how we can use Wireshark to actually uh, capture the passwords and logins and all the details which Windows 10 is using. So for that we are going to run a man in the middle attack like we have been doing before you can uh, there are many ways you can use uh, man in the middle attack we uh, do it uh, we did it with the tool uh, ARP spoof uh, you can make a fake AP and then you can uh, tell it uh, Wireshark that to capture the traffic from from that fake access point or we can run uh, the man in the middle app like we have been doing so it totally depends on you that what interface you actually want to use uh, to, uh, to Wireshark to actually actually capture the packets but I am going to do it on the Ethernet 0 and I am going to capture the traffic for Windows 10. So uh, for now we are not going to capture any packets or anything but I just want to show you that once we become man in the middle all the traffic flows from from our machine because we have been telling that we are the router and I have been explaining the concept in each and every video so if you still don't understand it I want you to uh, go to the videos where I told you what man in the middle attack is and uh, how we actually uh, be able to capture all the traffic flowing from our network. So to run the MITMF I am going to write the same command we have been always using. This is my gateway. This is my target which is my target is this machine and it has a 2.10 IP so I say 10.0.2.10 and then the interface so this is the interface Ethernet 0 on which I am running my uh, man in the middle attack so what this command is going to do is it is going to make Windows 10 uh, flow all of its traffic uh, to my this Kali machine through this interface thinking that I am the router and all the Windows 10 traffic will be flowing from our network and by that we can actually uh, capture that traffic from uh, from our uh, from that interface and then we can read what the, what the packets contain using the Wireshark so let I am going to let Wireshark cross start for us sorry MITMF So MITMF has started for us and now we can actually go to Windows 10 machine. We can ARPA here to check if and yes. So 
we have the same uh, MAC address for, for our Windows 10 machine or uh, Kali machine. So what we can do now is we can actually try to browse some internet here and I am going to bing.com and let's see that if we get any movement on Wireshark here. And now that you can see that I am not browsing the internet on, on the Kali machine, I just browse the internet on my uh, on my Windows 10 machine and it, it has showing us the spikes which means that yes, uh, all the traffic from Windows 10 has been flowing through our network uh, from the interface we actually uh, are, uh, are running the man in the middle attack on. So it totally depends on you. You guys can actually uh, run uh, the the Wireshark on on a fake app you made, or you can do ARP spoof, or you can do man in the middle, just we did uh, did right now, and then all the traffic will be flowing through Kali machine, and then we can capture those uh, those packets and then read the information uh, which is being sent through those packets. So Wireshark actually has. Uh, has uh, a lot of filters and it is a very big tool I cannot explain whole tool in uh, in this few videos but I will try to explain as much I can uh, but it has many filters that you consider it is telling us to apply a display filter I have not actually and one thing is that I am not capturing any traffic right now I am just uh, trying to tell you that there are interface and there is some internet which is there are packets which are flowing but we are not capturing those packets so in the next videos we will start capturing packets and then we will apply filters it has filters for for uh, for get methods for post method and then it has filters for like different kind of protocols which are used like tcp or udp or icmp and http and https so there is a lot we can actually do uh, in Wireshark and it, it is a very amazing tool and uh, if you want to do hacking and stuff like that uh, it is a very good tool so to analyze the traffic analyze the packets and one thing again it is not a hacking tool it is just a packet analyzer it is just a tool where we, where we can see what is what is being stored and what is being sent into the capture and there is another thing uh, we can actually a uh, uh, if we have captured packets from uh, from some uh, from aerodump like like we were doing in the pre connection attacks where we were actually capturing the packets so we can also open those packets uh, using uh, using wireshark for example you capture packets from uh, from a network and then you go to your home and then you go to your office and then you want to see what information those packets contained uh, when you captured them and you didn't have time uh, to see them at that time so you can actually capture packets and then you can analyze them by opening them uh, from the file section here like it is saying open and then you can say uh, open the dot cap files uh, into uh, into wireshark and then you can analyze them so in the next video we will actually sniff the packets we will capture the traffic uh, and then see that what information those packet contains